you know, there's been a lot of speculation lately about, uh, amongst the people that I know, nobody's ever posted on Facebook or anything or stuff like that, but, uh, I, I want to address this, um, there's been a lot of speculation lately, they've been asking me, Travis, when are you going to go back to pro wrestling? When are you going to go back to CEW? When are you going to go to LCW? When are you going to NPW? And as for the answer to that, I can't really give an answer. Um, my status in the wrestling business right now is just null and void. I mean, I have no relationship with CEW anymore. Um, I don't, I don't, it, this, this is a thank you video more than anything else. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not bashing anybody on here. I'm not going to waste my time. But um, I tried for negotiations with MPW. Uh, they failed. Um, but that's fine. Uh, last summer, I was trying to have a run in LCW. Um, but due to circumstances beyond my control and beyond um, my abilities and trusting people who I shouldn't have trusted, uh, my deal with LCW ended up falling through the cracks. So, I never made it with it, LCW. And CEW, um, you know, that's always going to be the company that I love. It's always going to be the company that I, I mean, that was the first company I was ever with. And, you know, I've always called her the girlfriend that will never love me back, but, uh, I like to think of my time in CEW as positive. I accomplished a lot there that I wanted to accomplish. Um, you know, there's a lot of people in CEW that I gotta thank. Uh, Nasty Nick Dyson. I mean, the guy. I mean, he he gave me a, pa a place to sleep on his couch. Mitch Fifield gave me a place to sleep on his couch. He fed me, and Chris Carter. I mean, he trusted me. I mean, he gave me a bed to sleep in. He fed me. He, I mean, he trusted me around his wife and kids when I stayed at his house. I mean, I, I can't say enough about the good things about CEW, and it's a crime shame that not a lot of guys in that company are getting the push that they deserve. I mean, you look at guys like Hellraiser Justin Locke, I mean, a friend of mine who busts his ass every single time, and only now he's starting to get the recognition that he deserves as the heritage champion I mean the guy is just unbelievable he's getting better and better every single time Mark um, is one of the guys there that I, I trained with and uh, try to work my way up with and obviously he's in the company now as a wrestler and I'm gone and uh, it's sad I said man the only thing that upsets me about you in the ring is that I'm not in there with you that's the only thing that I said to him that upsets me I mean, there's a lot. I mean, Scott Gotch is another one. He's a. I mean, the guy is absolutely at the lunch. I mean, he's lunatic when it comes to being in the ring. But to tell you the truth, there's nobody I've seen in the Newfoundland wrestling business for a long, long time since Vince Austin, who was will, willing to put his body on the line to make it a fun night for the fans. I mean, most of the wrestling promotions in Newfoundland, most of the rest are so boring. Scott makes me want to be a fan again. I mean, he, he, I mean, he's just totally high flying crazy. I mean, if you, I mean, if you looked at him and you had no idea about the wrestling business and you had no idea about what was going on, about his character or anything like that, with the look of him and everything, you'd, and, the, and the sound of his voice, you swear to God, he was a madman. But he's a guy that definitely deserves a title run in the future. Don Martini, you know, Don tried to help me. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to deny that he tried to help me. He sat me down. He and pretty much what happened afterwards, I spat in his face. Pretty much. I mean, uh, there's nobody that regrets that more than I do. Don Martini's another guy. He's only about five feet, like four, five foot six up to there. And I mean, the guy. Once again, CEW loyalist. He's been North Atlantic champion. Totally deserves it. I mean, he. he He's a guy that's just like Scott Gotch, is willing to bust his ass and, 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 you know, like totally get bounced around like a ping pong ball just to put it off a good match and, and to show the fans that he can do it. Nasty Nick Dyson. I mean, he, he finally had to retire because of a knee injury, uh, a recurring knee injury, which is sad. I mean, he never had to run as North Atlantic champion. He never had to run as Heritage champion. And he's a good man, a good friend. 
I can't say enough, enough about about him. Uh, Alexander and Brad Guthrie, I, I never got a chance to know Brad very much, but Alex, um, you know, a, a great guy. Uh, he always was a great guy. I mean, he very well, he's my age, but he knows a lot about more about the wrestling business than I ever will, and he helped me. He was kind to me. Um, Tony King, whatever differences me and him had, I'd always put him over as one of the greatest high flyers and one of the greatest technical guys in the business. He got a great look. Um, I followed him all the way back to the old CEW days when he was with uh, the Blood Brothers, with him and Freddie Youngblood, who I hope one day will make a return. And Warren G's another guy I, I got I got to thank a lot too. I mean, he helped me uh, get back in the business. And Vince Austin, another one. He gave me the shot back in CEW back in 2011. I mean, he believed in me, and he still believes in me. Um, you know, it's, it's just one of those cases. Buck Gotch, wonderful character, wonderful guy. Um, hurt himself and one of the in tag team Arcadia, but he still managed to drag his ass up and he still managed to, to work. Um, you know, CEW has evolved a lot. A lot of people c call them a backyard company. Nothing can be further from the truth. We've had Tommy Dreamer, they've had Sabu, they've had Devon come in. I mean, CEW has evolved, and anybody who thinks that, you know, CEW is garbage wrestling, I mean, I dare you to step in there for two seconds to try it. I mean, I mean, everybody who wants to detract them, you should be ashamed of yourself because CEW always has been a great, the greatest promotion in Newfoundland ever since the days of Sailor White, God rest his soul. But uh, I want to thank everybody in CEW for giving me the time of my life. I mean, you guys gave me a chance, and I'm, and I'm only sad, and I'm only depressed, and, and I'm upset that it never worked out, and I hope someday I can possibly come back. I don't think I will, but, you know, Only the good Lord knows, really. So uh, that's my thoughts on CEW and my status in pro wrestling. So thanks, guys.